Thanks very much for coming. You're welcome, Melissa. Choosing. Yeah, lovely to be here. <laughs> Bidi for Brits. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the idea is just to introduce Bon Dessiné for British people. So right. what do you think? A lot, really yeah. Wide of it's difficult to choose just three. You know, we've got <laughs> shelves and yeah. shelves of Bondesine here, and I mean, probably the two most familiar to people will be Tintin mm -hmm. and Asterix, which of course have been yeah. made into movies as well. But I thought with a good one to start with, if you want to take a, take another step, a bit another step from the thing you might know, would be Persepolis by Marjan Satrapi. The, the basic format for a, a, a graphic novel or a comic in, in France was this: it was hardback, and it was you know forty eight pages usually or maybe 64 the format that you're used to with Tintin and Asterix and this obviously is not it's mm. black and white it's got I don't know how many pages lots and lots of pages and also of course it hasn't got a it's not a series not a hero it's mm. actually a real person's life so all those things completely changed how people uh, understood making and, and, and reading comics so this is Pinocchio right now this is not the Pinocchio that we might know, say, from, from the, the Disney movie. This is not for kids. I mean, you might pick it up and think it might be perfect for my five-year-old. It's definitely not. Along the way, uh, Vinicius is able to kind of bring in many other themes. He's able to parody other Disney movies. There's a really bizarre version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves in here, which you can, I can leave to your imagination. Um, but it is very, very funny, uh, but in very poor taste. And this is, in many ways, is in the spirit, if you like, of Charlie Hebdo. It has that same kind of, we can mock anything and everything. And it's a very important part of French comics is that, and French cartooning is that bite and edge of satire. This actually is the last volume of Pablo, uh, a biography of, of Picasso. It is actually um, a biography of, a graphic biography of Picasso's life at this period. This is around 1900 to 1907. It's those crucial years when... Picasso essentially invents modern art. He comes up with cubism and comes up with uh, his famous paintings that revolutionized art. At that time, you wouldn't get a lot of interior photographs because there wasn't enough light. Actually, the light wasn't strong enough. So what Julie and Clément here have done is really take us inside the lives and inside the, the, the living spaces, the galleries and the um, bohemian um, apartments um, of this period. In the last... 13, 14 years, the amount of comics, of graphic novels being published in France has grown every year, uh, almost without exception, to the point now where there are over 5,000 uh, new books coming out every year, which is a, an extraordinary yeah. production. And within that, I mean, this, just for this one, another one beginning with P. <laughs> this is by, and by an artist beginning with P, Pedroza, Portugal. I mean, this is just like beautiful, fabulously inventive and free. And the point, the point is that this is, this is the most important thing. This is comics liberated from genres or from being having to be one thing or being just for children or whatever or heroic or something this is comics basically doing whatever what every other medium pretty much can do we know now that you know, whether it's movies or literature every subject is possible all of life can be in a in a comic now and france is demonstrating that uh, fantastically well mm -hmm.